All right, so I wrote some code in Turbo Pascal to change the mouse shape, and I thought I'd do the same thing in uh, Quick Basic. Uh, so this is Quick Basic, the uh, compiler, not the Q Basic uh, that comes with DOS. Uh, this requires you to include the uh, QB.bi, which is a, a library that allows you to call additional functions uh, so it won't work in QBasic. There might be some code that would allow you to do this in QBasic, but for now this only works in QuickBasic uh, 4.5. And uh, PDS, uh, if you make this change here. Um, I grabbed some of the mouse code from this site here. I put a link to it. It looks like it was originally uh, a Microsoft article that shows you how to use the uh, the mouse code in uh, Quick Basic. So let's just run the demo, and uh, this is what it does. Um, I create a, a shape, and uh, we convert it into uh, mouse compatible code, and now we can use it in our programs. If you notice the eyes change color when you go over the different colors, and I'll show you how I did this. So first, uh, here we go. So I drew the uh, image and I uh, export it to Quick Basic Data, and. Uh, the uh, pink color here represents the transparent color, and the uh, blue color here represents the colors that will change uh, when the underlying color changes. Um, I have additional pointer, uh, mouse pointer that I have defined here, and we could easily, uh, so this is the code here that uh, the, the drawing program generates. And I'm going to just change this right here. And now we have a, a different shape. So it's that easy to change the, uh, the shapes. And uh, what I'll do is also just draw something quickly. Let's just clear this. And if we draw a simple square, Let's call this M5. And I'll jump to Visual Studio Code just to import that file. And it's a little easier that way. And I will place it right here. I'll create a new label called M5 here. And let's just change that. I will reload this again, and that should have all our changes again. And now we have our image that we just drew. It's that easy. Now, in addition to importing images in, 
the code I have here allows us to also grab an image off the screen. So I'm going to uncomment this. It'll print the uh, letter N in the corner. And uh, it's going to turn it into a mouse shape. And I forgot to make the, the change here. should be T image now. Let's see if that works now. And here we go. So you notice that uh, there's a lot of black there also. And that's because the part we grabbed here is black. If it was um, the pink color, it would actually be transparent. So let's see if we can Is that it. Here we go. So now most of that black is now transparent and uh, it works the way it should. So the main part of this code is, let me switch back to Visual Studio Code. Is the image to mouse shape uh, subroutine. So we supply with a, an image. Um, this is the same image format that you can use with the put command and it converts it into a, a mouse shape image. It does a little bit bashing with, a, with the image to convert it to the right format, but um, it eventually works. So if you want to study the code, I'll put this on GitHub. Uh, you can probably use this with your own uh, mouse libraries. Uh, you might need to change the format of how you're storing the uh, mouse image. I'm using a single array here and it goes from uh, uh, yeah, it stores 32 elements, 32 integer elements. So from 0 to 31. And that's how we read it. Uh, where is it? Well, actually, we do it a little differently, but uh, it fills up because I go to, from zero to fifteen, and then. Uh, I add the uh, the mask starting at uh, 16. Anyway, study the code. If you have any comments, let me know.